What's up, everybody? It's Rick, and welcome back to Don't Starve Together Alone, the Wolf King Edition. Uh, last episode, I talked about how we had to restart our seed, but we also built ourselves an icebox, found a place where we've got some clockwork enemies so we can get some gears, and discuss how I think the dogs are going to come soon, which shouldn't be that big a deal. So we're going to probably fight some dogs this episode. And then what else are we going to do? Uh, I'm, I still want to get my food situation under wraps. So I think that we've got a pretty good thing with the dogs to the west because we can just continue to harvest meat from them as we need. But we are going to need to find some filler, you know? Winter's coming, sure. We've got that. But I'm going to want some reliable filler, which means that I'm going to want to start growing some crops. Do I have a place where I can get some muffalos? Okay, I got a grass area over here. So I can make my way down there and then try to harvest some poop. Get some farms going. But we're going to wait until the day's over before I get doing that because night is coming. I'm just going to go grab some wood. Make sure that we've got some wood for the evening. And we should have some wood down here. I should probably start to plant some trees as well because I've got a bunch of pine cones. And you know, speaking of filler, I can chop down these trees and then get some birch nuts, cook those up, and that will actually work as some pretty decent feeler, filler for us. Feeler? Filler. That's what I meant to say. All right, let's get that all chopped up. Perfect. Hey, 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 hey. Get over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What do we got? Okay. Every now and then you're going to get like a doodad or something to give to the pig king out of those. So I want to keep checking them as they roll by. Okay, so we've got some wood for the evening. I've got a little bit more filler for us. I'm going to throw some logs on the fire. There we go. And yeah, let's cook up these uh, birch nuts. And then we can make ourselves another meaty ball. Pop into the fridge here. And so having the fridge right next to the cook pot's nice. Because now I can just draw directly from the cook pot. You know what? Actually, take these out. There we go. Use those berries first. They go bad pretty quickly. Uh, speaking of doodads, I found a doodad last episode. There we go. I'm going to put that away. I don't need to have that on me. And let's see. Anything else that I can put in here or combine? You know what? I was talking about planting those trees. I can do that. But you know what? We're not going to do that right now. I'm going to put that away. I thought that I had more time in this evening. I don't really. Here, let's eat a meat the ball. And yeah, so tomorrow we'll make our way over here and go look for some poopies. And I think tomorrow is when we're going to have our dog attack. So I should probably have another spear on the ready because mine is getting pretty weak. There we go. Okay, let's go south. If the dogs come, I'm going to run them to the clockworks and then have them fight it out. I mean, I could probably take the dogs. I'm not really afraid of fighting any dogs at the moment. But why fight the dogs when I can have them fight the clockworks for me? Do a little bit of that work for me. Okay, I really hope that there's some muffle over here so I can get poops. And, ooh, I can get me some uh, ice. There we go. Okay, only one ice. Not so exciting. There's one of the clockworks right there. Ooh, look at that. He knocked down a bunch of stuff. I'll take the free stuff. Sure. It's kind of nice keeping that guy around, you know? Because he'll just keep on knocking stuff down. You don't see me, do you? Okay, you don't. His eyes opened. I wasn't sure if he saw me. I was thinking I was far enough away. And I was. But you can never be too careful. Okay, so here we have the grass area. And I'm going to go pick at some grass first off. I should probably not have that equipped. There we go. I mean, I could plant some grass on my house. I'm going to need to fertilize it, though, if I do. Since I've been making lots of rope, I've used all the grass that we picked. So I'm just going to pick some extra grass. Probably a good idea to have grass on us. Okay, where's the muffalo? Where's my cute little muffalo friends? There's gotta be some muffalo around here. There's just gotta be. Oh man, is that the end of the grass? 
just a teeny tiny grass area. Oh, I had really high hopes that I was going to find some poops around here. I need some poops. Give me those poops. Yeah, I don't think there's a buffalo over here. Just webbits. Oh, yeah, that's the end. That's the end of the grass area. Well, shucks dang, man. Shucks dang. We're going to have to find ourselves another grass area. And I think that's literally the only grass area I've found so far. Look at this. My goodness. In all my explorations, I've not found any other grass areas. Wow. Wow, wow, wee wow. All right, equip my axe. Okay, good. We finally found a touchstone, though. Thank goodness. And I'm going to grab me these piggy leathers. There we go. My leather now. Hopefully we don't need to use this touchstone anytime soon, but good to know it's there. Make our way down south. Trying to find some more grass areas down south. You know what? I'm going to eat this other meatball that I've got, too. There we go. Picking all the fillers. More berries. And what time is it? Okay. We'll turn around in another couple minutes. Start making our way back home. Seeing about maybe fighting those dogs tonight. They've got to be coming tonight. They've got to be coming soon. It is definitely about time for dogs. Okay, there's a cave. Oh, is this my swamp? Right on. Okay, I found my swamp, which is nice. I should probably collect some reeds. Um, shoot. I, you know what? Actually, I need that seed. I have too much stuff on me, guys. Too much stuff. You know what? I'm just going to drop this for now. Uh, as a matter of fact, yeah. We'll just drop that for now. I need reeds. I need eight reeds if I want to make a birdcage. If I'm going to build our farms, then I'm going to want to build our birdcage as well. And I know that I'm going to need... I think four paper, which I think is eight reeds. I, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to grab those reeds now while we're down here. And try to be careful about where we stop. Because these little boobly areas here, that's where tentacles come out. And that's bad news. We don't like the tentacles too much. Okay, so I'm at... Oh, I got eight reeds. That's right, because I found some reeds before. Perfect. Okay, so we know that the swamp's down there. Great. Bummed that we didn't find any buffalo, but happy that we found the swamp. And now we just got to find poops. Got to find those poops. But I can't build my birdcage preemptively. Ooh, hello. All right, got a place right here. Very nice. Lots of berries there, too. Cool. I wonder if I can go around here or if this is going to be cut off from that area. Right over here. I bet you it's cut off, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yep. Yep, there's no crossing over here. Okay, we got some pigs over here. All right, I've got to get home. I can't be lollygagging. Or else I might have to camp out tonight. I do have what I need in order to build a uh, campfire, so... If I have to camp out here overnight, that's not the worst thing in the world. around the cape. All right, let's go right by the clockworks. Get ourselves back home and I'll you know what? I'll use this opportunity to reveal this tiny piece of the map that we haven't revealed yet. Looks like there was just a meteor shower here. Oh boy. Lots of scorch marks everywhere. There we go. That tiny bit of Okay, what's up? We got ourselves a uh, tall bird there. Got some gold. I'm just going to hold on to this gold. This precious, precious gold. Okay, there's our clockwork friends. Hey, guys. I'll see you guys later. And... Do I have wood for the fire tonight? Oh, you know it. You know I do. I think that we'll make it home just in time. Gonna be close, but we're gonna make it. Oh, yeah, we made it. All right, fantastic. And is there room for this in storage? Yes, there is. Perfect. Can't believe I only have one gold now. Used all that gold that I had. All right, well, we found filler. Fantastic. And 
I have one more monster meat, so we'll use it. And I'm going to... Do I have a torch? I do. Okay, I'm going to make me some ash. Because... I would like... To make those salves. Because I have the spider glands. So I think it's ash and salve. Or ash and spider glands in order to make salves. I'm pretty sure. Something like that. It may be one or two other things as well. But we'll see. Yo, don't eat my don't eat my ash, jerk. It's mine. Mine. Okay, so is that all I need? Uh oh, and rocks. Okay, perfect. Got a salve. Use my salve. Okay, so that's good for 20 health. Alright, I collected a few of the birch nuts here. I'm gonna cook them up as filler. And then we're gonna go to the west. And go find us some gold. Get us some meat. I'm going to get gold because we're going to need that in order to um, make our... What did I need the gold for? <laughs> I don't even remember what I needed the gold for, to be honest. Uh, I know that I needed to make a bird cage. So to make the bird cage, that's what I needed it for. I need six gold to make the bird cage. So I'm going to just get some cooking done real quick. Here we go. And I've got you that I need to put away. You and... Um, oh, you know what? I don't have any more monster meats. Well, snap. Okay, let's go ahead. I also collected some boards because I want to make another storage. Because we need more storage space. In a bad way. And you know what? I may just spend the night out with the dogs. To collect some more gold and some more uh, meats tonight. So... I might just build a campfire out there to do that. There we go. Okay, so we've got another storage. I desperately need to put some stuff away. I've got a ton of stuff on me that I don't need to be keeping on me. Uh, put the reeds away. Put the gears away for sure. Put the leather away. Oh my goodness, so much stuff. Okay, so I have enough to build a new fire. Um, I've got my new spear here. I'm going to need another pickaxe. I'm going to make that real quick. Nope, nope, not an axe. There we go, pickaxe. Okay, let's go. And as far as my hunger goes, I don't want to get too shrimpy while I'm out there. So, I may just grab some meat, come back here, make a couple meatballs, and then go back out there for the night. And I'm going to be taking care of all those dogs, but there's probably going to be some other dogs that are going to come here soon. I was expecting the dogs to come around day 10, but they didn't. But they've got to be showing up soon. Okay, here's a puppy. Come on, puppy. Okay, there we go. Got myself a puppy meat. I'm just going to take that back real quick. Cook a meatball. And then we're going to spend the night out here in the wilderness. Collecting stuff. Collecting tumbleweeds. Meat. And gold. Avoid the hornets. Oh, jeez. Run from the hornets. Hopefully I don't track those guys all the way back home. Yeah, because I'm going to turn into a small version of me real soon here. There we go. Cook those up. Those berries are about to go bad. You know what? I can just eat some of these berries. Uh, juicy berries. I think they're better cooked. I think. Let me see. A juicy berry. Is, yeah, they're way better cooked in fact. Okay. And then eat this meatball. There we go. Now I'm strong and fast. So let's get back out there. Take on some more dogs. Set up my campfire. All right, we'll be good for the evening. How's my sanity? My sanity's doing pretty good, actually. My health's back up. All right, we're good. Compared to where we were last episode, we're just getting better. Getting better and better. Ooh, come here. Come here. What's inside you? Anything good? Ooh, I did get a uh, gourd's knot. I can give that to the pig king. Okay, so this is the area that I want to start trying to uh, mine for gold. Oops. Came in too quick. And I think I'm going to take out this dog spawner. I do obviously want to keep some dog spawners because this is going to be 
basically free meats for us, but... There's a lot of dog spawners. I don't need to keep them all. So some of them can go. Like this one right here, it's gotta go. Oh crap, I need to put down a fire. There we go. Now it's safe. Break you up. There we go. I see a safe area to mine things, you know? And, oh! It's a full moon! Da doy! Okay, well, this is a perfect time to come out here. I was worrying about building a fire. Worrying for not. A fire was not necessary. There we go. Some more meat. And... Get back to picking. Okay, so we've got another spawner there. Where are some more spawners? We got more spawners up there. Okay, whoa, there's two spawners right next to each other. That seems a little bit overkill. Okay, how many gold nuggets do I have now? I have four. I think I need eight for my uh, bird gate. Six or eight. So I'll gather eight just to be safe. Make sure I have the prerequisite amount. Okay, come on, buddy. I want you to take one more bite at me. There we go. So I can get in two whacks before I have to run. Whack, whack, run. Whack, whack, run. Okay, and I'm up to six now. Oh, you know what? I can, uh, where's that other pickaxe? There we go. I can repair. Combine those two. So, full moon nights, I realize those are the nights to get glomer. I have not found a glomer statue yet. They're usually around where the pig king is. So, once I find out where that glomer statue is, I'll try to get glomer next full moon. But that's not going to happen for some days. Next full moon, I think, is in like 30 days. So, we got some time to wait. And I should have enough gold now to make our birdcage. So, I'm going to go back to our base, get that birdcage going. I've got a bunch of meats now. Oh, and we've got ourselves another tumbleweed up here. What do we got inside of the tumbleweed? We've got three grass. Okay. Not the most exciting thing to find inside the tumbleweed, but it's all right. So after I bird my, build my bird cage, bird my build cage, build my bird cage, then we'll need to build a bird trap to catch the bird. And then after we have our bird, I'm going to want to start to build some uh, farming plots. So we can start to just grow our filler instead of having to go out and find it. So I'm going to put this meat away. And then we're going to build our birdcage. You know what? Put the meat away. And then you know what? Let's cook a couple of meatballs. Okay, birdcage is going to be... Oh, I need to make the paper first. And I should have the reeds that I need, right? Oh, no. I only have one reed. No, there they are. Okay, I was going to say. What? I could have sworn I grabbed more reeds. There they are. I've got to turn you into paper. One, two, and then we can make birdcage. All right, so the birdcage, I'm going to stick right down here. Birdcage there, and ooh, meatballs are up. Take you and make a couple more sets. Why not? Do I have wood for the evening? I do. Okay, great. Because it's we're going to be here for a minute. And let's see. Um... I'm going to want to do the bird cage now, which is under survival, and the bird, or the bird trap, I should say. Ah, I need my uh, spider silk. So spider silk is here, got it. And... Success, alright. I'm going to put you here, and then I'm going to bait you with the seed. There we go, and look at that. My sanity's at 200 now. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing alright. We can do another meatball. There we go. I'm just going to cook meatballs for now because they're the best thing for my hunger that I can make at the moment until I get my hands on some dragon fruits. And what else are we going to do with our day? I'm going to travel down south and see if I can find us some, uh, some muffalo because I'm going to need poops now. Poops is what I'm going to need. I just caught myself a bird. That bird's going to be our new pet. Took our last meatball. Stick our bird right in here. It says in prison, but I don't like to think of him as a prisoner. I like to think of him as a roommate. 
my new roommate friend. Okay, some stuff to put away that I don't need to have on me. Um, put away the knot and I have a couple of extra golds on me. Okay. Uh, with the time that we have, let's go south, and, you know what, I should probably, I'm gonna bring my meatballs with me while we go south. Let's go. Oh, snap! I hear puppies. Okay, so, puppies are coming, so I was gonna go south to go look for buffalo. I'm actually gonna go south now and put down a fire, and then when the puppies come, I'm gonna have them try to battle it out with the, uh, the clockworks down here. We'll see how that goes. All right, so I'm going to put a fire right here. There we go. And I've got some extra logs. Let's keep that fueled up. I want to have a couple of extra logs even. Extra, extra logs. To make sure that our fire doesn't go out tonight. And then once the dogs get down here, I'll just try to kite them into uh, the clockworks. Go. Do I still have my shovel? Shovel, shovel, shovel. How do I keep loot? No, I, I guess my shovel broke. I was going to say, how do I keep losing track of these things? But I think it's just gone. Okay, so I'm going to pop one more meatball. There we go. Stay really bulked up. And kind of see what kind of clockworks we got. Okay, so we got a clockwork horse. We just got to see if we can get these dogs to fight the uh, the horse. I don't even know if they will. I really hope they will. We'll see. Oh, and we've got the clockwork rook up there. I'm going to want to draw it in. Come here, clockwork rook. You're too far away. Come on. Okay, here comes the puppies. Come at me, rook. Where are you going? Come back! There we go. Steaming at me. Oh, there it goes! It just crushed that dog! Oh, it crushed two of them! Okay, now that dog's fighting the rook. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. Come get it. Come get it. No, 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 no. You do not go away. There we go. Getting them all riled up. Come back here, Rook. Okay, I'm just going to have to take this dog out. The old-fashioned way. It's okay. There we go. I'm curious if they did some good damage to that Rook. Probably not. I mean, those dogs up against that Rook. It's probably no contest. Okay, where did I put my campfire? It was back here, wasn't it? Campfire? There you are. Okay. I'm just going to stay here for the night. And honestly, that's probably a good place to wrap up this episode of Don't Starve Together Alone version edition <laughs> featuring Wolfgang. Um, I've been enjoying it. I hope you guys have too. The dogs have finally come. And uh, yeah, I, I feel like that, that worked well. You know, just having that Rook defeat them. Uh, but we've still got a long way to go. I'm going to go down to the south tomorrow and look for some Muffalo. Hopefully, we can find out where the Muffalo are. As a matter of fact, take a look at the map. Like, I see some grass down here on the edge. So, hopefully, that's where we can find some Muffalo. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and contributing. I've been loving seeing you guys comment. You guys have been really nice about your comments. I really appreciate it. Uh, a lot of the times, people... They might have good intentions in mind, but they can come off as like overly critical and a bit harsh when they try to give suggestions in the comments. But you guys have been doing a fantastic job, and I really appreciate it. Keep it up, and uh, if you guys have enjoyed this, I really hope you guys have. Let me know by giving it a like, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff, and coming back next time. I'll see you guys then.